Hi guys. Oh my god, there was a bee. Shit. This week is going to be a no spend week. So hi, welcome to my new home. I now live in the park. No, I'm just kidding, but we are doing a no spend challenge. Hi, I'm Aubrey and I'm a 23 year old who now lives in Silicon Valley. I spend what appears on Instagram a lot of my life traveling, dining out, and what you could sum up to is just spending money. But while it may appear that way, I'm a big personal finance enthusiast and what led me on that path is realizing that if I really love traveling, I need to really love budgeting. So I found what works for me, which is having all things in balance. While some weeks might be Napa Valley vacations, other weeks I'm doing this, like exactly this from this video, <laughs> which is spending absolutely no money. Right off the bat, you can tell the biggest part of a no spend challenge is really just eating all your meals at home and eating kind of repetitive meals so that you save money on ingredients at the grocery store. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Almost every day of this week, I had coffee, a smoothie, a salad, and something interesting for dinner. Now, this is a no-spin challenge. It's not supposed to be easy. It's actually pretty hard when you're a full-fledged adult who lives in a consumerist society where you spend up to four hours of your day inadvertently having advertisements shoved in your face. So, in review on Monday, I worked a did some yoga, edited my videos, and spent zero dollars. Success! Now, while we go into Tuesday, I'm going to talk a little bit about why to do a no spend challenge. Not only do you save money, like a lot of money, but you also become more in touch with your wants versus needs. This really helps with a scarcity mindset when you always feel like you need more, like you always have an appetite to spend money and fill your life up with stuff. So handsome! So handsome! This week resulted in a lot of moments where I realized I wanted something, like to spend $10 on an outdoor yoga class, but I realized I didn't need it, and it was just my inner noodle brain wanting to get out there and boost the economy. At the end of the day, it's not really about money. It's about a scarcity versus abundant mindset. And once you stop saying, I can't afford to go to Chipotle and start saying, I can afford to make an at-home quesadilla, your life will change. So overall, Tuesday was another success. Day one, spent zero dollars. Day two, spent zero dollars. Day three. Wednesday started off strong with a coffee, a smoothie like usual, but then we had a development. Now, going into Wednesday, let's talk about surprise expenses or inevitable slip-ups because it happens to me on this day. My sister gave me a call and said, Aubrey, I challenge you to a sangria off. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm just not one to turn down a competition. Plus, I only see my sister like three times a year. So we've had a development. I've um, secured a package. Welcome to Aubrey's cooking show where we don't cook anything and we just drink alcohol. So while I spent $25 at the grocery store to buy this alcohol for the Friday sangria off, I don't regret it and I encourage you to still attempt this challenge even if you feel like you're going to inevitably slip up. What do they say? You know, get back on the horse? I don't know. But I wasn't going to let this expenditure stop me from working towards my overall goal for the week, which is to no spend. Basil. Hello, but the first thing you need is a Magnum, so two bottles of red wine. Oh, ginger beer goes in after. So we do these two, triple sec and brandy. And then when you're pouring it into the cup, Two shots of vodka. It smells good. Is that something alcoholic say? <laughs> Is it supposed to smell good? Yeah, it smells delicious. Mmm, I want that in a candle. Yeah. Happy day three of no spin. Happy day three of no spin. Wednesday, I spent $25 on Watts. Sue me. Actually, don't sue me, please. Now, going into Thursday, let's talk about what to do for fun during a no-spend week. 
I know what you're thinking. Aubrey, you're in your 20s. Go out and live your life and stop trying to hoard money. Well, I hear you, and I'm out here having fun, okay? During the snowspin week, I went over to my sister's house and had coffee and checked out her new fancy foaming machine. <laughs> Hopefully I'm doing it right. <laughs> Yes, it is. Sometimes it's hard to take a gift when you're not giving back right in that moment. Do you guys ever experience that? Is this, is this all mine? Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, sometimes it's in the simple things and giving the gift of your undivided attention is very valuable nowadays. This is quality time in the moments that families are made up. <laughs> That's so good. She likes to eat hair when it's wet. <laughs> There's a lot to do during a nose spend week. Read, do yoga in the park, be nostalgic and look through old pictures, journal, or even just plan a trip for the future. My sister ended up giving me one of her propagated plants, so we both got this plant for free. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but anyone trying to save money, I highly recommend gardening. It is so rewarding, but it's also really time consuming, and so it's a great hobby that takes an initial cost, but then sustains itself for free. Also, please give this video a big like if you found anything valuable or you're just entertained. It really helps out my videos and I would really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to this channel if you want to watch more videos every week of personal finance and personal development content. Okay, back to the video. Oh, and also, thank you for this plant, Shan. Thursday, another success. Now, Friday is the day of the sangria off, so I had my coffee, smoothie, salad, and I worked from home all day. Then, on Friday night in July in Las Vegas, I sat around with my family and laughed and talked and drank sangria. Friday was a success. So overall, I still say my no spend week challenge was a success. There were plenty of items that I didn't buy, plenty of vegan noms I didn't order off Postmates. I saw only incoming payments to my bank account instead of just withdrawals, payments, and costs. This week was a great reset for me and I think I'll continue doing this every month for at least one of the weeks. So in theory, a quarter of my year will be spent in no spend challenges. That is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to this channel. It helps out my channel a lot. Here are the rules I followed for my challenge and leave a comment below if you end up trying this out. I will see you guys next week. Bye 20-somethings.